Hello student, welcome to this video. This is lecture number 23. We already covered 22 lecture to solving the supplementary problem of the, of the book Vector Analysis by M.R. Spiegel. Okay, this is very important book for physics as well as mathematics honors and this is the most important book regarding physics for IIT jam examination also. That's why we decided to solve the supplementary problem of this book. Today or in this video, we want to solve the Supplementary problem 4.62 to 4.67 of this chapter 4, which is consists gradient, divergence, and curl. So let's start with the question number 4.62. 4.62 question says that find the directional derivative of phi at this point in this direction. Okay, so uh, for getting directional derivative, you need to find out the grad phi. What is the grad phi? Grad phi, you know, I cap. Del, del phi del x so if we derivative with respect to x we get 4 z cube and here the minus 6 x y square z plus j cap with respect to y if we derivative with respect to y this get 6 x square y z and uh, k cap with respect to z that is 12 x z square minus 3 x square y square okay so at this point so at this point this will be 2 minus 1 2 this will be i cap 4 into z cube z cube is 8 minus 6 2 y square is 1 z is 2 minus j cap 6 x square x square is 2 square 4 y is minus 1 and z is 2 plus k cap 12 x is 2 z square is 4 minus 3 x square is 4, y square is 1. So, this will be uh, 4 into 8, 32 minus uh, 144. This will be 1. Is there any wrong? 6 into 2 at 6 into 2. 6 into 2 into 2, 24. Okay, this is okay. J cap and this will be plus because uh, this is 48 and K cap. This is nothing but 84 minus 84 minus 12. 84 minus 12 is this okay no 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 96 minus 12 which will be 84 okay so this will be 8 i cap plus 48 j cap plus 84 k cap this can be for taken as the common <coughs> sorry sorry 21 k cap okay this is the gradient of phi so along this vector if we uh, getting the unit vector along this vector that is e vector by a so this will be nothing but 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 6 k cap root under 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 6 square is 36 so this will be 1 by 7 2 i cap minus 3 j cap plus 6 k cap this will be plus minus so that directional derivative <coughs> of this along uh, this vector direction though that's grad phi 2 minus 1 2 dot u cap so if we dot product this two, this will be 4 by 7 and this dot product 2 into 2 is 4 12 into minus 3 36 and 21 into 6 126 so this will be become 376 by 7 is the answer of this question go to the next question find the direction and derivative of p at point at the in the direction of this this is the same question so we need to find the same process get for 4 is nothing but just partial derivative so i cap del del x of the 4 can be common i cap del del x so you get the 2 e to the power 2x minus y plus z uh, minus j cap plus j cap minus 1 to the power 2x minus y plus z and plus k cap for z this is 1 so this is 2x minus y plus z 
so you can common this also to it to the power twice x minus y plus z so this will be 2i cap minus j cap plus k cap so if i want to find grad p at this point 1 1 1 1 minus 1 what will be the value if we put this is 1 this is 1 so this will be cancel out <laughs> 1 and this is the 1 and this is the minus 1 so this will be becomes to 0 exponential 0 is 1 so we will get the vector is 4 2 i cap minus j cap plus k cap and uh, towards this point taking <laughs> this point that's mean the if we take this vector is 3 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 6 k cap so the unit vector will be r vector by r that is minus 3 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 6 k cap by root under 3 square 9 25 5 square 25 6 square 36 so this will becomes root 70 minus 3 i cap plus 5 j cap plus 6 k cap okay so you will get the direction derivative along this direction that's dot product if we dot product those 4 by root 70 and this becomes minus 6 minus 5 plus 6 so minus 20 by root 70 this will be the answer of this question go to the next question go to the next question 4.64 says in what direction from the point 1 3 2 is the directional derivative of phi is the maximum okay so the grad phi grad phi will be i cap with respect to x so this will be z plus j cap with respect to y that is 2y k cap with respect to z that is 2x okay so grad phi at that point 1 3 2 this will be if we, this is the 4 i cap and this is the 6 j cap and this is the 2 k cap okay so in that direction this in that direction this will be maximum since the, the perpendicular grad phi is the phi is the this is the equation of phi the grad phi is the perpendicular to this if they along that direction this will be maximum if any other direction rather than this this is the component of that okay so this component will be less than to this so the <coughs> uh, direction derivative directional directional derivative derivative maximum maximum along along that direction that is 4 i cap minus 6 j cap plus 2 k cap so the max magnitude of the maximum magnitude what will be the magnitude 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 what will be the magnitude that is root under 4 square plus 6 square plus 2 square that is 16 36 plus 4 which is nothing but 2 root 14 okay then go to the next question find the values of constant a b c so that the directional derivative at that point is maximum with the magnitude 64 okay so we find out the grad phi grad phi is the i cap with respect to x that is a y square Mm, and this is the 3 c z square x square plus work up with respect to y that is 2 a x y plus b z and with respect to z this will be b y and this will be 3 with respect to z so 2 2 c z x s q okay at this point so grad phi at point 1 2 minus 1 this will be 1 2 minus 1 that is 4 a this is 1 uh, this is 1 this is also 1 so 3 c plus j cap uh, this is 1 2 this is 4 a 
and z is minus 1 this is minus b and y is 2 so this is 2 is b minus this is minus and this is 1 so minus twice c okay and the maximum in the direction parallel to z direction the, if we dot with respect to k cap because of z direction since this is the direction along the z so k cap will be the so if we dot product with k cap you will be get twice b minus 2c which will be 64 and the other direction must be 0 4c equals to 0 and 4a minus b equals to 0 using these three equation you will can get this solution just uh, uh, 4a equals to minus 3c 4a equals to b so we can say b equals to 3 minus 3c just put a r b equal to minus 3c minus 6c minus 2c equals to 64 so minus 8c equals to 64 so c equals to minus 8 just put here minus 8 so we get b equals to 24 and putting here a equals to minus 3 by 4 c c put minus 8 so this will be 6 so this is the value of a b and c go to the next question find the equate angle between these two surface at this point so you know if this is the and one surface and this is another surface so you can say the perpendicular of this surface is gradient of phi and perpendicular of that surface is gradient of 1 and this is the phi 2 so <coughs> the angle between these two one is the angle between the surface so we need to find out the grad phi 1 and grad phi 2 so grad phi 1 i cap with respect to x will be y square z minus 3 y square z minus 3 plus j cap mm, this is the 2 x y z plus k cap x y square minus twice z okay so at this point grad phi 1 at 1 minus 2 1 just put 1 minus 2 1 so 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 4 and 1 4 minus 3 1 so this will be i cap and this is the 1 minus 2 minus 2 and this is also 1 so minus 4 so this will be minus 4 and this is the 1 minus 2 square that is 4 and this is minus 2 4 minus 2 2 so this will be plus 2 k cap similarly second gradient of the second surface will be i cap with respect to x we get the 6x um, and j cap we get to minus 2y and k cap we get to twice so at that point gradient for phi at point 1 minus 2 1 will be get this will be 1 so 6 i cap this will be minus 2 this is 4 j cap and this is twice k cap so what is the angle between this so cos theta equals to gradient of phi 1 dot gradient of phi 2 by modulus of these two vector okay magnitude of these two vector so if we dot this 6 into 1 6 4 into minus 4 minus 16 2 into 2 plus 4 and this will be root under 1 plus 16 plus 4 and this will be 36 4 sorry 36 plus 16 plus 4 so this will be will become 6 by root 21 and root 56 this can be written as minus 6 this is 3 into 7 and this is 5 8 into 7 so 7 is uh, common and this 2 also taken out and root 6 so this will be becomes root 6 by 14 if we take the magnitude the theta will be cos inverse root 6 by 14 okay go to the next question if, if actually this will be modulus or taking the modulus because this angle does not <coughs> exist the 90 degree go to the next question find the constant a and b find the constant a and b so that the surface will be orthogonal to the surface that so you here these two surface this is one this is two so i want to find out this phi one at that point this is i cap with respect to x this is two ax and with respect to x this is minus a plus two 
okay plus j cap with respect to y minus bz plus k cap with respect to z minus by at that point grade of phi 1 at point 1 minus 1 2 what will be the value 1 1 that is 2a uh, 2a minus a minus 2 that is a minus 2 2a minus a minus 2a minus 2 and uh, j cap b is z is 2 so this will be twice b j cap and y is minus 1 so this will be y k cap <coughs> okay <coughs> sorry uh, y y no sorry b b k cap y is 1 right and phi 2 grad of phi 2 a divergence of phi 2 we can say derivative of this so i cap with ratio to x this is 8 x y plus j cap with respect to y that is 4 x square plus k cap with respect to z that is 3 z square so at that point grad phi 2 at 1 minus 1 2 so what is the value that is 1 and minus 1 that is minus 1 so minus 8 i cap and x square is 1 so plus 4 j cap and z square is 4 12 that is 12 k cap since these two are perpendicular so the dot product of these two will be 0 so the dot product of these two will be 0 so this minus 8 a minus 2 and this is the minus 8 b and this is the plus 12 b equals to 0 what will we get that is we 4 is common so minus 2 a minus 2 minus 2 b plus 3 b equals to 0 so what we get minus 2 a plus 4 plus b equals to 0 this is one equation and 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 since, since this is a orthonormal at that point so this also satisfy this point so you can put this x y z value in this equation you get x square is 1 square is a and y z y is minus 1 z is 2 that is plus 2 b and x is 1 so this will be a plus 2 so a, a cancel out 2 b equals to 2 b equals to 1 so we get b equals to 1 put this value in this equation minus 2 a plus 4 plus 1 equals to 0 so minus 2a equals to minus 5 so equal to 5 by 2 so this is the solution of a and b thank you thank you for listening this is all about me and this is my contact details and you can contact with me regarding any physics related question and this is my details of youtube channel you must go through the this channel uh, you can see the all the details and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel to get the information notification of the new uploaded video you must press the bell icon okay and share this video to your friends as that they also benefit with this video take care of you thank you we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you